So folks, Donald Trump was on Fox and Friends this morning and they were asking him, what are you going to do about high prices? And, and his answer was nothing short of ridiculous. He's, he's really got nothing there. He's got nothing. And take a look at this. So this is Jen Psaki. She asked that same question on her show, Inside with Jen Psaki. Have a listen to this. The economy is curr currently has a 3.7% unemployment rate, 3.1% inflation, with a stock market near record highs. I'm asking this sincerely. Can you articulate one thing, just one, that Donald Trump has done or would do to make the economy better or your life better? Well, Jen, it's interesting because, uh, like I said, he answered that question this morning on Fox and Friends. But, folks, listen to his response. There's no policy. There, there's no specific actions that he thinks that he might take. It's, it's just drill for oil. That's the answer. I mean, it's such a shallow. This, this is why he doesn't debate, folks. Listen to this. I believe that you're at your best when you're fighting for the American people. And we just heard in the diners, we heard immigration. But the other top issue was the economy. What are you going to do to give us some relief when it comes to this inflation? People are going to, the, you know, whether it's the gas station or to the grocery store, and they're being hit hard. How do you fix that in the first 100 days? Well, first of all, let me speak to the people in the diner. I saw the vote, and there was 100% Trump, <laughs> none for my opponent. And I love you in the diner. I will take care diner. of you, and we're going to drill, baby, drill, and oh. we're going to get prices <laughs> down. Energy's going to bring it all down. We're going to get a lot of that oil. We're going to get the oil and gas right from Texas and other places, but from Texas, Texas oil, largely. Yeah. And I just appreciate it. I saw that vote early this morning. They said... Will said, Will's doing a good job, by the way. Will said, uh, you for Trump and the whole place went crazy. What about Haley? Nobody, right. not one person. So all of those people in the diner, I love you. Right. So so speaking of Nikki Haley, she's coming up shortly. Uh, after. So he's got nothing, folks. I mean, he's going to drill. I mean, that's the answer to high prices. Donald Trump has no policy. He has no real clue economically what he'll do to lower prices it's it's like the magic pixie dust of just drill just drill for oil well donald trump uh, i've got news for you here biden's been doing that check this out this is the washington post i mean we all know this u.s oil production hit a record under biden he seldom mentions it to his you know my dismay i in in his uh why he doesn't mention it more i don't know i think he's starting to do better with that U.S. oil production hit a record number under Biden. Folks, take a look at this. So the gas prices, they peaked there right around July of 2022. They've come down. They've stabilized. Generally speaking, considering all prices throughout the nation, they're roughly at about 346, probably cheaper, in fact, where you live, than 346. I know where I'm at. It's generally right around um, 320. And like Jen said, we've got the stock market at record highs. It's you know, it moves around. It'll be up, down. It's all over the place as usual, but it's it's generally right at record highs. We've got unemployment in the 3% range. We've got the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, in the 3% range. I mean, th these are good times, folks. Don't, don't uh, listen to what Donald Trump's saying. I mean, drilling is not the answer to everything. I mean, it's... Um, it's just so shallow. This, Like I said, this is why he doesn't debate. He doesn't want to debate on the issues because the pixie dusk to fix everything is just to drill for oil. And I got to show this to you too. So like I said, stock market record highs, gas prices, low, stabilized, reasonable, uh, CPI 3%. Uh, you've got unemployment in the 3% range. But listen to this. So Alex Jones thinks that things are so god-awful in the nation. They're, they're so terrible. All we can do is pray. And, and you know what, folks? Listen to this. you got you got to listen to this. They're so Things are so bad. Alex Jones would like you to know. They're so bad that he's concerned that somebody would try to eliminate Donald Trump in, in a not-so-good way. That's how bad things are. <laughs> but he understands the power of prayer. If everybody watching this broadcast will pray tonight for our country, 
Uh, and for so the bad, you need to pray of Donald Trump, which I think is absolutely key. I pray for that's my closing question with one minute left, and, and, and Owen takes over. What do they do now? They're in full panic mode. Nothing's worked for them. I'm really worried about Trump. <laughs> panic mode. God. Well, they're they're capable of anything. I didn't even want Watch to think out. it because it's so unthinkable. I mean, mm. Look, I read a I wrote mm. a book on the assassination of John Kennedy, the man who killed Kennedy. Okay. The case against LBJ. You read a book. I made that case. They killed one president. Uh, I pray to God for the absolute protection of his servant, Donald J. Trump. You just keep praying, Roger Stone. Just just keep on praying. The, the, and the economy is so bad, you just don't know what in the hell is going to happen. Just keep praying. 